Hi there and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I am Byron <coughs> and we are still in the Gloomfrost Glacier looking for the seer. Okay, looks like we entered a new area. Understood. This is pretty straightforward. Hi, see anything you like? <coughs> oh yeah, that traps here sucks. Um, what's that? A ice golem sentry. I say we attack it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them actually. But they give us 14,000 XP. That's nothing to sneeze at. I enough actually for gold mode to level. But they do quite some damage. What's that? Okay, and one another uh, one of those holes. So Goldmond. Now you're level twenty two cleric. That probably means you get new spells. <laughs> the ninth one, okay. And um yum yum I already have two holy words, I guess I will go for mm. What does the symbol of pain do? When it's invoked, must make a saving throw versus spell of fear. They're overwhelmed by pain, suffering a minus four to their attack rolls, a minus two to dexterity, and a minus two to armor class. Not half bad. Symbol of hopelessness, aka heartbroken. All creatures within 60 feet of the symbol of hopelessness, when it's invoked, must make a saving throw versus spell with a minus two penalty. If failed, they will stand in, pla in place overwhelmed by dejection and surrender. They will not make a move to defend themselves from an attack. Hmm. Use this one then. Okay. I'm here. <clears throat> so, well, you're somewhat hurt. Vita. Ready. All right. So we can you it out with those golems the old-fashioned way. It would work, but it's tedious and yeah, we take a lot of damage and sometimes we get stunned because of the brutal force, the brute force of their attacks. So mm, let's see Give whether the there's word. a way to facilitate things. What do you want? I want you to cast a few healing spells. That would be awesome. Okay, let's see how things are now. All right. Hi. Yep, it actually is much faster now. Hi, you're going down. Oh, holy fuck, there's a whole bunch. 
This one is dead already. You're next. And now you're comes for you. And the hell's come with Well, if the party is fully buffed, it's truly a force to be reckoned with. Do not treat them lightly. Yeah, there are all traps in here. I don't care. Death comes for you. I will just slash you into tiny pieces and be done with it. Here I, I come. The, and the hell's come with me. Thank you. Back. Another trap. Quickly. And there are more. Here I come. Go the hell's come with me. This one's mine. But they go down all the same. Okay, there's nothing here actually. Let's return to that spot then. Oh, unpause, of course. <coughs> yeah, stupid trap. I don't care. Moving on. I will clear the field presently. Time to turn this one down the crows. The golem is dead. If we want to attack um, that little worm in here, it's actually not easy to reach. If you need range you weapons. Have my attention. Ready and waiting. I clicked on it. Yes. What? Fire away. It's dead. But to get that, it dropped something. You actually need to get down here. I'm How here. do you do that? You need a mage with a dimension door spell. Ha! <laughs> Saldana just rocks. She teleports in here, takes it, and gets that out of dodge. Yes, she can teleport. You can do that if you are a high level mage. Ready. Like Saldana is. Understood. Oh, yeah. If you want to know what the scroll does, uh, the amulet does. It's Kossu's blood. The god of fire, Kossus, rarely takes physical form in the Forgotten Realms. On those rare occasions when he does, however, destruction lies in his wake. He was summoned in 801 DR by a large collection of faithful followers who pled that they needed their god's aid to defeat a colossal octopus threatening a temple at the coast, on the coast. Kossus appeared in a gigantic bonfire and did battle with the enormous supernatural beast. The gods ever triumphed over the octopus, but the monster did manage to damage Kossus' essence. The divine fire raced through the creature's body and lodged in one of the creature's eyes, quickly transforming it into a bizarre black sphere lit by the flame within. All casting time reduced by 2. All fire damage inflicted by the caster increased by 20%. This decreases the casting time of spells. How nice is that? Very nice, I guess. Here. Move on. But if you can't teleport into that uh, pit, you can't get the stuff. Oh, there was a trap. Really? I don't care. Oh, wait. You Orders. should switch back to normal Give me weapons. a target. I'm listening. Kill that it. comes for you. Understood. I don't care about your traps. <laughs> oh, now they're fatigued. This is not funny. Why the forced march? We need to rest. First of all, you need to kill those golems. Time to trim this one down to then size. we can talk about resting. Oh, 
Okay, this one is done. So the haste brought us quite well through the level, I must say. I'm here. You need to heal yourself, girl. You're quite diminished now. And one Ready. I clicked on it. What the fuck? We should rest soon. I'm dying to get out of these clothes. And another I've one. secluded place to camp. Shadows called. Let's see whether we can rid of the you get rid of the fatigue the time. now. Let's make camp. What do you want? Okay. Seems to be working. Unfailing endurance for the win. Yes. Very nice. All right. Ah, the mirror is working. Get in here then. What? I'll handle it. Death comes with swift wings. My hiding place is a place of hiding no longer. Your eyes? What happened to them? My eyes? Ah, oh, my eyes. <laughs> they serve me too well. What do you mean? An axe can be of the strongest steel and so sharp it cleaves the man that wields it. A fire can burn so fiercely it scars a child that seeks its warmth. And eyes can be blessed to see so far that a woman may see the end of her own life. In seeing my own death, it turned my eyes to dust. Yet still, I see many things past and present here and elsewhere. Your coming and my death both linked like chains. Your coming is why I buried myself here. For in visions my death walks in your shadow. It is for that that I fled my people. Tried to hide myself from your eyes, and the reason I have long feared this meeting. Yet fear tires the spirit, and it has brought me little except more fear. <laughs> kill me if you wish, or leave me here, and she will kill me. In the end, I die the same death. She will find me? Who are you speaking of? You have seen the creature that wears Wolfdane's body like a cloak. She has chosen wisely that one. Do you mean Jared? Wolfdane told us that he had merged with Jared's spirit. No, no. Jared is long dead and gone from this world. This creature is of a different sort. A spirit of things that once were, but can never be again. Who is this creature? She is the spirit of one who died in the North long ago. And she carries the death of the North with her now. She has taken Wolf Dane's body, and with it, the heart of his people. She is clever, and moves as ice moves, slowly and patiently. She will prove a difficult foe, for she carries death with her, as do you all. So how can we defeat this creature, this thing that's become Wolfdeen? All things have a weakness, and in this, the creature that is Wolfdeen and I share a common one, sight. 
Do you know why I have hidden here, chosen this place? The ice is a shield more powerful than steel or iron. Though it does not know this, the creature that is Wolfdane cannot approach it and remain Wolfdane. Why not? Ice is a curious thing. One may see through it, yet see themselves in it. Therein lies power. The creature that is Wolfdane is a proud thing like all of her kind. She cannot bear to see herself as anything other than she is, no matter what corpse she hides in. The mirror you held to enter here will force her to see. In seeing, Wolfdane's body will melt from her like water. No more Wolfdane, only the beast, the great worm of ice and snow. Okay, so apparently it's a dragon of some sort. Bring the ice mirror before her. She will remember it, for it is of her, and a thing knows its own nature. We get 280,000 XP for that. But you can see what Wolfdane is and what he isn't. If you come with us, the barbarians would heed your word and there would be no need for m the mirror. In her shadow is my death. I will not approach her. The mirror is enough. And my words shall be heard only by you. If your sight is true, then death will come for you whether you hide within these caves or not. You speak truth. Yet my path is mine. Reason and fear are not brothers. And while I yet live, I shall not run to face my death this day or any other. So you will allow your enemy to choose the time of your death rather than face it on your own terms? Fear has truly claimed you, just as fear claimed you when you blinded Tiernan. Enough! Do you think your words new to me? Do you think them clever? They are neither. I have heard you say them a hundred times in visions of this meeting, so be silent. I have given you the weapon to stop this creature that has claimed Wolfdane. Use it or not, I care little. So we get another 280,000 experience points for attempting to reason with the seer, but yeah, we fail. Uh, how can you be sure the mirror will expose her? A woman knows a woman's heart, and a strange, beautiful, and cruel thing it is. But the cruelest of all is a heart of winter, for it beats not with love, but with loss, and nothing may comfort it. When a human heart breaks, it may heal and forgive. When a heart of winter breaks, it is like ice. It shatters and can never be made whole again. A heart of winter is what will damn our people and yours. All so it may remember what life once was, not as it is. Why does this creature that's possessed Wolfdin, why does she want to destroy the Ten Towns? Her heart was broken once by a man of the Ten Towns. A mighty breaking it was, for in it she lost her kingdom, her love, and her life. Now her heart beats with the vengeance of winter. Surely she can be reasoned with. There's no need for war. A woman's fury is a terrible thing. Yep, hell hath no fury as a woman scorned. Many women have you met in your travels. Many more have you yet to meet. You will learn their hearts. In each there is rage and love and hate and sorrow. I have seen all their deaths, whether death has come for them or not. Shall I speak their hearts? I would hear of what you see. 
One woman clutches a heart like a drowning man clutches a stone and knows not that it drags her down. Her dreams are watchfires, signaling to her of war and victory that can never be. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. One dwells beneath a mirror of the sky and has a heart like an ocean, too big for her will to contain. She once knew love, then loved again. And her love is what has damned the North. I guess she's talking about the sea elf that gave us the broken blade in the beginning of the game. Another woman builds great ships upon molten seas, all the while dreaming of beasts of purity and how they might be corrupted, as she once was. I see her die, and her dreams become ash. I think that's the woman we met in Dawn's Deeps, down below with the fire giants that wanted to build ships that rode on, you know, the lava. We killed her. And the last, oh, the last, the elder races. Their passions burn so brightly when fueled with justice. One, but a child loved so much she abandoned her own father to die beneath the earth for a people she had never met. That is Larry's daughter. You know, Larry, Laurel, the, the lich of the head of the Seldarin, his daughter uh, went to, you know, um, reforged the alliance between dwarves and elves and she died with the dwarves. All these things they will come to pass or already have. You will meet them or you have met them. It is of no matter. Time cares nothing for now and then. How do you know these things? Do they come to you in visions? I see as if through the eyes of a hundreds child such sights. It is as if my life is split upon countless branches of a great tree, and I can see through the eyes of each branch into another place, another time. I have seen visions of the past, of death, of spiraling cities and a black brambled garden of creatures both spirit and stone. In all these things, I was not myself, yet always I see through a woman's eyes. We have heard enough. We will take the mirror to Wolfdane and see the truth of your words. If you would leave this place, I may speed your journey. Though only to the entrance of the Gloom Frost, no farther. Do you wish it? Well, if the game offers you an opportunity to go back somewhere you've already been, then you should do it. Before I go, I would visit Tiernon one last time. Can you take me to him? Oh, see, we leveled. Storm leveled. Now he's a level 19 paladin. Does he get new spells? Yes. And Tolpan uh, now is level 25. <laughs> Thief. Very nice. Um, Ready. Here. So we Got say it. hi to the smith again. Did something change? Yes, it did. I can hear you tramping around like a giant in the cave of Icicle Stranger. What do you be wanting now? I have been thinking. When you gave me the mirror to the seer's cave, you said I'd need to see the door's reflection in it to open it. But you're blind, which means it wouldn't work for you. Well, aren't you the sharpest axe on the rack? Heh. <laughs> so how do you visit the seer without seeing? I know me own works, I do. The door will open for me, mirror or no. The mirror was for you and for her. Why? I don't know. She said I'd need to make a mirror for you, and I had to make it in your presence. I... hmm... what is it? Might be she wanted to trick you into seeing yourself in it. Maybe that was important to her, to ye, and maybe whoever is you're going to share that mirror with. 
But I couldn't tell you the truth, stranger. The CRB won with the knowing, not I. I'm sure you let on more than you know, Tiernan. So out with it. What else can this mirror do? Heh. <laughs> like a winter wolf on a tundra rabbit about this, are ya? Alright, let me show you a trick with it. Hand me that serpent twine cord from the table. Alright, here you are. Now loop it through the next there, tap it on the corners, and you'll find it the charm worth its weight in mithril. Good enough for you? Quite. Thanks, Tiernan. So, anything else you'll be wanting? Nothing at the moment. Farewell, Tiernan. So, what's that now? It's an amulet now. Saldana? Wrapped with serpentine twine around its corners and tapped in place by Tiernan's hands, its mirror of bl this mirror of black eyes may now be worn around the neck. It still serves the same function as the original black eyes mirror, but it feels much lighter now and the reflections within the mirror seem both sharper and duller at the same time. The power of the black eyes lies in its ability to confound, confound the sight of an attacker. Merely wearing it provides a boon to the wearer's defense, as attackers will discover the wearer suddenly isn't where they thought he was when they first attacked. By concentrating on the mirror, however, the wearer may alter what others see when they look at him, distorting his image to make him harder to hit we or splitting some. his mm, image into several of reflections clothes. of himself, further confusing attackers. The mirror contains Do only I a limited like number amount of energy to perform to the, these rest. greater feats, but when this the blurred mirror time. image Let's powers are gone, the passive defenses will remain. Armor class bonus plus 3 versus missile attacks and plus 2 versus melee attacks except crushing attacks. But I guess nobody can actually use that because everybody is already under the effect of some uh, magical armor. So hmm, nice to have but not useful. At least not for the party. And they are fatigued again. This Orders. is not nice. So I will return. I don't want to walk all that way here. I will return to the seer. So hold on for a second. And here we are again. This is our chance to explore the cave of the seer. See whether she has anything that we could loot. Apparently not. Why have you returned? We have said all that was needed, and now our paths must part. Can you transport me to the surface of the glacier? Well, apparently she can. So I guess the exit was done. I'm on it. Now, with the mirror, we should return to Barbarian's camp. We have the mirror? We have it, although we can't wear it. Done. Okay. So, I guess this is the perfect time to take a break. And in the next video, we will actually enter the Barbarian uh, camp again. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.